Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. I've got a 2v2 team game for you. This is again 60 Grassy featuring uh, Tot and Nicaray. And this is Gold, or uh, I, as some of you guys might know him, and myself. And we're running a couple of uh, pretty meme outfits. Um, but yeah, we've got two mixed books, and then Nicaray's running a Seasons mix, and Tot has a Comet mix. Kind of a weird combination, something that you don't expect to see. Uh, already from just even seeing this uh, preview, I'm pretty sure neither of them have flight because comic books and seasons books typically don't have flight. But we'll see how it goes for them. So we're able to get first turn. The goal in first turn for 2v2 is to just knock the player off um, and get that free, you know, tempo. So I'm gonna go over to Tot. It's a little bit of a tricky flash, but you know I hit those. Uh, I'll get a flash tutorial up here soon, hopefully, and uh, can show you guys some of those angles. That one wasn't too tricky, but yeah, it would suck if he if it didn't work. Um, so one thing that's interesting to note about two v twos is that the cooldown changes don't apply. So a while back there was an update where like Tree was made turn 2, Ice Shield was made turn 2, uh, Shock Bomb was made turn 2, things like that. Uh, apparently I was in a team game and I all of a sudden had Tree uh, when, I, when I went first. Um, not on turn 1, but like the turn after I had Tree and typically in a game you'd have to wait an additional turn. So those cooldown changes that we have, those don't apply at all, uh, which is kind of interesting. Makes the game a bit different. Um, but yeah, teams are all about uh, pretty much 1v1 principles. Like, you want to get your minions out early, especially on Grassy. Um, as you can see, we're just trading minions and swarms. Just looks like typical 1-on-1 -on -one 60 Grassy, but, uh, you know, 2v2. Um, and I know that being trapped is not the biggest deal because I can do what Tot did, which is just kill the tree and then blast from the past out. So I just summon a swarm and you force them to kind of respond to that. Um, and so Tot makes a good play here to tree gold in. And, you know, I'm thinking that's not so bad because now we have cover from Comet because Tot has Comet. And so. We're looking pretty good here. That swarm will probably die. And he was asking me, like, should I really uh, use a blast from the past to save that? And I said, sure, fuck it, why not? Just to save the swarm. Um, it's not like team games go that long where you'd have to use eight blasts from the past, so four from me and then four from him. Um, and we actually end up being able to free it, so it paid off. And we just go and hide that swarm. They have Morning Sun there, which does a bit of damage. And then when that light refreshes, I'm not going to be able to cross it, otherwise it'll damage me. So that's good to know. Um, so I'm going to hide that on the side. And aim a nice right of fire there. But we didn't get a good angle on that, but I can rewind. Just so you guys can see. Or maybe not. One more, one more turn. Yeah, okay. So I move this swarm to the side, and then I'll go on the swarm. So, to, so you can see uh, how I aim that rain of fire. Pretty much, um, if you aim directly at the swarm, uh, the middle fireball will hit always. And I knew that, like, it's possible that the fireball could be clipped on the land. So I aimed like right right on the left side of the swarm, and the middle fireball uh, came in and killed it. So uh, that was a good play. It's just a game of uh, dealing with uh, their tempo. Their tempo plays, just killing their swarms, uh, trapping their minions. Again, a lot of 60G principles apply here. Um, the main thing to kind of think of, think about when you're playing team games is that like, uh, for one, your teammate can use your minion. So, like, if I summon a Dark Knight, 
and the opponent doesn't deal with it, then my teammate can go use the Dark Knight and kill, uh, kill someone with it. And so that's something to keep in mind too, is that your teammate can use your minions. So Gold pulls out Owl, Owl here, uh, chose to run Owl just so that we could um, maybe get some cheeky plays with the Dark Knight or Pegasus um, and Dark Knight. And at this point, I was telling him, I think, you could trap Nikare with the Pegasus. Um, actually, it was my turn, but on Gold's turn, I think I tell him, like, oh, you could trap Nikare with the Pegasus, just put a peg on the tower. Um, at this point, we're kind of safe from Comet. We want to have minions out so that we can shield ourselves from Comet even further. Um, Nikare hasn't done that much. He's just sitting in a tower. Um, so we're in a pretty good spot here. He has to use a turn to kill that swarm, which I think that's worth a blast from the past. Remember we freed it from this area here in the middle. Um, so I thought that was worth it in the end. He has to use a full turn to kill it. Um, and Nick Ray pulls out the acorn. I don't think that's too threatening. And I decide that my tree's dead. I'm going to go over there. And I wanted the pebble, but I couldn't quite get down uh, in that little hole. I just kept mounting the Pegasus. And so I'm like, ugh, worried about Comet. I don't really have much to do. So I just kind of panic a little bit and tower. But it's not a huge deal. Um, here, Tot uses a Dark Knight. And uh, Gold actually makes a great play. I didn't think of it in the moment, but he's like, yo, I'm going to owl the Pegasus. So I can move that out of the way, and then I told him, yeah, just drop the Mega Boulder on their head. And then that'll detower Nikare and kill the Dark Knight, which is sick. Um, so that was pretty disgusting. And then um, we're thinking here, okay, Nikare will flash, but he decides not to, he decides to drain. Which is, again, completely fine. Now Tot's trapped in that little tree. Um, there is the acorn alive, but I don't see that as much of a threat right now. Um, I think I want to get out Dark Knight really soon here. Um, I told me to swap the Pegasus just so that that one is a little bit more tanky to protect from any aerials that they might have a uh, light comet. And so I do some screwing around with the Pegasus to get the positioning right and then I summon my Dark Knight out. Um, at this point, Ta has Comet. What else does he have? Nothing. And that flash, he was a bit too far. Uh, the extend angle is just not going, it's not going to lift him up high enough because he's too far away. Um, I thought that this was, uh, I, I'll call him gold actually, gold thought that this was going to be um, a good flash, that he was close enough and I was like no, because you know, I'm the flash, uh, flash god. Um, I keep saying that but I never even published that tutorial but I'll have to soon. If I get some time. But yeah, he's just too far away. And uh, we get a lucky break there. And can pretty much get a free kill here if we're, if we're uh, careful. Uh, the idea was to kill Nikare. I don't think it matters too much who we kill. Because they both have flightless books. But uh, Tot is kind of rusty. So... We chose to <laughs> to kill Nikare first because I don't know. Nikare Nikare has had 3K rating, so you know uh, I kind of fucked up that charge. I was kind of mad at myself for that. But he doesn't really have anything in response. I think his tower's down, so he has to gate away. There's nothing he can do. Um, and then I can just go over there, and I don't know if I messed this one up or not. Um, but I can just kill Tot here, it's real easy, simple. Okay, I do again. So I screw up both of those charges, kind of unfortunate. There wasn't a lot of terrain that the DK could catch on. So, I don't know, maybe I need to just aim for the center of his body. But even still, like, that's even better maybe that, you know, I don't kill Tot and then Nick Ray gets double turns. So they're just still stuck in this area, neither of them have flight. Nick Ray just used gate, so they can't do anything. He's trying to get up in that little hole there to tower, I think. 
and I think he's going to end up towering, at least that's what we both thought. Um, so that they both can't get Mega, because we've showed Mega. Um, he brings out the Comet, which does quite a big chunk. Um, but we'll see if that's enough. Gold's going to make his way down. I wasn't sure if he could make it all the way in to that little hole there. But he squeezes through, he's got a blast from the past, squeezes through again. And I said, yeah, just stand on that little piece, and then Mega Boulder. And boom! Double kill. Crushed him. So, we were able to get that win. It's kind of sweet to end with a double kill, uh, with the Mega Boulder too. Um, but yeah, it didn't feel like they got a chance to use um, a lot of their level 3s or bring out their threats. Like, they never got a chance to bring out the Dark Knights, because um, we were able to just get to it first, because we had the first turn uh, advantage. Um, but yeah, uh, all in all, I think we brought a little bit of rush. I didn't have rush, I had like a couple aerials in this book. I'll show both of our books at the beginning of the, of the video, so you guys know. Um, but yeah, Gold just brought Mega Boulder, that was the only rush that we had. Just because we're thinking, we know that, you know, Nick Ray likes to play defensive books, and uh, if Tot's playing with Nick Ray, they probably play similar um, books to each other. Um, and Comet books are typically not that, um, I don't know, not typically paired with Rush pretty much like you have Comet and you have Dark Knight and Frost Giant. That's pretty much it for most Comet books. So we were able to take advantage of the fact that uh, they brought pretty defensive books without Flight too. Uh, we both had Flight in our books just because we know that that can be, uh, it can be easier to just survive uh, longer games that maybe go 20, 30, 40 turns. Uh, so anyway, uh, that was a Great first win, and uh, keep an eye out for a rematch that I'm about to uh, record here, and I'll post it soon. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for game two. See you guys in a bit.